Hey guys, I got this stagnant mess of a pond. It's full of azalea and heaps of nutrients. It gets a lot of water runoff here from the nursery and the storm water. So it's got plenty of nutrient and phosphate, nitrates in it. And the um, azalea and the duckweed's just gone berserk. And it's killing off all the plants that are under it, which has created a anaerobic mess. So I want to fix this because I like this area down here, but I obviously want to have a nice pond. What I'm going to do is I'm going to semi-line it down the bottom. I still want it to um, be able to like slowly the water level decreases over time just so that I have this as a reservoir for when we get big storms this can take a little bit of the load off um, and we can like purify the water a bit before it makes its way into the waterways uh, now because it's so far from the shed up there I've got no power down here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run an airline down and I'm going to use uh, bubble pumps uh, similar to what they use in Europe and the UK on um, swim ponds so I'm going to try and use that with planted zones to get this water circulating uh, very low energy use just circulating around plants purifying pulling out these nutrients and hopefully we can get this water nice and healthy before it makes its way down into the waterways also um, I do have a sort of a stream part dug out here which I got the guy to do when he was excavating this pond probably oh, I think it was about five years ago again no power so eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a, a, a solar pump to run this stream so it'll just run through the day when we've got enough light but that'll help some circulation too and we can really make this garden look really nice and have this area looking spick and spam anyway that's the plan um, if that's something that interests you subscribe and um, follow along with the journey all right thanks guys